Oh! We're high enough now where it looks like this might be a way to confront Lord Gortash without going into the chamber? The coronation chamber? I feel like anticipating Pride him of outside gate. of the chamber would be better. As one does. I am gonna save here in case I really don't like it. But, uh -huh, we're not gonna make it. Oh wait, here we go. Dark ones unlock. Alright. And guidance. Heck yeah. Unless he rolls a one. Woo! I was like... Okay, we still fail, but I... Yeah, okay. But it was not as bad as it could be. Um... I don't want to use inspiration on that, but I just lockpick again. Oh, dang it. No, never mind. I should have. That was dumb. The Dark One's own luck only worked once. That's fine. I am going to reload that. I, I wasted the Dark One's luck on that, so I'd rather try again with the better chance I had. Because the high, it was like anywhere between a 4 and a 16 on the dice, like the extra dice to help out. So so that was silly. It was a silly move. And I'm going to go back and face that, especially because I ran out of lock picking. <laughs> so apparently, I mean, we only had two. Yikes. Uh, I think if I, if anybody else in the party has them, it should pull from that. I don't know for sure. Ooh, all right. Okay, just just the reload is gonna is gonna get us in. So woohoo! No one stopped me yet. Let's see if we can get in without causing a riot. Oh, come on. They only came in because freaking... Because, uh, because I'm, I'm here now and the game was like, Oop, we gotta put some guards in there. Alright, if you could just... I don't know. I don't even know if she actually would get mad at me being here. I'm eavesdropping. Something about the steel watch. There, I, I think the nobles are arguing with Gortash. Yeah, go in there. Let's go. These boots have seen everything. Let's go. Oh, we're coming in the back. Aye. The council is unanimous. Let our walls be guarded with steel. No, bad. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, I was aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. I don't know if I was invited here, but I, but I, <laughs> but I was invited. <laughs> I'll keep things peaceful. The Steel Watch appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, <gasps> the Blade of Frontiers graces our halls. He's wearing his devilish best. My father. He's here. He's no! Oh no, oh no! My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. I'm sure you're right. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. She's gonna lose Elsa, it. Congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and... For that nether stone that you carry. Ah, am I old? <laughs> it's no wonder your victory was so decisive. It's lovely to see you again, darling. I'm sure it is. <laughs> we'll catch up once we've covered more pressing matters. Thorb's nether stone, more to the point. You know, it takes all three to control the bird. Are you just gonna say that? Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. So give me yours. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. That's true. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, 
Well, you brought this upon us. You made this. It's thrilling your prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Yeah, if I stab you in the heart... Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. And take your netherstone. Ah. Uh. <laughs> of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Uh... I'm not interested in bargaining with the likes of you. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. I don't trust There's him. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. Yeah, I know. She told me. She only cares for blood. Yeah, she told me. <laughs> and your blood and mine are of particular... Yeah, she blood. told me. <laughs> uh, she wants my blood. She'll have to find me first. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. Is he just... I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, <laughs> not scorch it. We're just talking in the Great Hall in front of all the, the people that are here? Like, I don't think they're all under control. I... You know... You want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. No! A absolutely a not! Upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Can I just attack him? Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. No! Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her oh. stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. My Together, character. We rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. I'm good. No. And my father? Yeah, Will. Your father will do whatever <gasps> you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. No? Yeah. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well, and if it does not, well, we need not honor What's it. interesting is that Karlak didn't immediately try to bash hmm. his skull in. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Uh, no, I'm not pledging a solemn oath as a paladin. Ooh! That would be hard. I'm going to try to do inside. I have advantage. Give me bonuses. Okay, I think we should get it. I think we should. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom no, with you. No, really. He does. Uh, he wouldn't do that. I, don't, I mean, I just can't see him actually doing that. I think he's just a really good liar, but I succeeded on the roll. Uh, yeah, as, as allies, it seems none of you can be trusted. You, Arn, or Kethrick. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance, too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. You're a bad guy. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the no, same. No, you future. definitely do, because this In short, whole plan... You can trust This me. whole plan is a bad plan. Also, you're pushing, like... I don't know, I can't say racist ideologies, but you're pushing, like, separationist ideologies. You're hurting people. Also, you did what you did to Carlag. You've created the Steel Watch, who are like evil, uh, friggin' machines. I kind of just want to tell him no, but I know that could make things so difficult going forward. But you know what? No. 
I did save. I did just save. So if things go bad, I can. If things go really bad, right, where it just seems like it's not gonna work, uh, we can change it. But uh, no, to the hells with your pact. What a shame to refuse the power. I don't want of the power god. of a god. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is <gasps> compromised. <gasps> One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who? How do you I know? Say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain yeah, of salt. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. This is Gortash we're talking to. He might to. be trying to, so... Let this be a warning. Orin is the spark in a powder keg. We make an alliance, or the city is made ash. Then why'd you bring her on? I will give you time to reconsider. Tread carefully. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive. Even if it means striking a deal with the enemy. I mean, I can't fight him now. And maybe of the two left, he's the lesser of the two evils. But I almost think his calculating nature makes him more evil. But at least he's trying to have the appearance of a good man. Right? Whereas Orin is just like, woo, bloodbath, you know? Um, but it's the ones that schmooze you that they gotta watch out. At least Orin's honest. Apparently, he's being honest about sharing power, but then why is he doing this? If he doesn't want to, like, have all the power for himself? You know? Like, why even come up with this plot in the first place? Like, I don't know. Why do the terrible things he did to Karlak and probably people like her? I mean, he's done terrible things. I'm... I'm intrigued. I want to say, you're a dead man, I can't let you take over this city. Hang on. We're at strategic... Okay, advantage. fine! Better to take down those machines, then rip Gortash's throat out. Okay, okay! Sage advice. <laughs> My steel watchers take unkindly to threats, no matter how hollow. Okay, fine. You're of little use to me, dead. But dead is exactly what you will be. If you arouse the ire of my steel watch. So I've been boxed into a corner here. Okay, this is a bad place to fight him. Like, that's what I did. I said that. I was like, this is a bad place to do that. But okay, you're on your own, Gortash. Oh, but I most certainly am not. Now, come. Be witness. As I make history. As the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Uh, let's get this up. Fine, let's get this over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. Is that a new chapter begins? That is Raven Guard. He's controlling him. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. <gasps> oh, I don't like this at all. Chop his head off. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? Ooh, he's so evil! I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? <laughs> the problem is, is right now, is I don't have any proof of anything. If I had proof, I could try to do something about this. But I think I, I have to get proof that Gortash is a bad man first. But what's gonna happen to your gravy guard? I mean, maybe he's already maybe he's already lost. And after this ceremony, they're not gonna have any more use for him. So maybe we have to break into the prison again anyway to get him out. I mean, they'll probably just kill him. They'll probably just straight up kill him. And I'm so why isn't Will saying anything? This is like the thing where like in actual D and D, like you know, this character would be like ah. 
not, you know, like rattling the bars of your cage, you know, being like, this is not right, dad, stop, you know. There's nothing I can do right now. There's no, I'm, I've been boxed into a corner. I could try to fight, but I guarantee you I'd get absolutely crushed by everybody in here. And we would be the enemies of Baldur's Gate. Now, if we tried to, to just, like, kill Gortash now, nobody would believe that we did it for the right reasons, you know? Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I can't... I don't... This man, I can't take My him friends, seriously. the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our He was like a punk rock lead singer. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. I... I can't... I don't... Where is Duke Ravengard? Come back! Ravengard! Coronation of the Dread Master. Ooh! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, the Blade of Frontiers has things to say. I'm waiting. To, I know Karlak has something to say, but okay. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his... You glory. told me not to do anything. What did you make of him? Uh, no, he's a bad guy. He seemed like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? She's just yelling it in the hall. When people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Yeah. Anyway, Will! Hang on, what did it, Will's, Will's, um... Okay. Truest of souls, bathed in her life. Oh no! There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gorta said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son, unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. Oh no. A new dawn, is that what you call the tyranny the absolute brings to Baldur's Gate? Why do you say this? Only the shadows would name the sun a tyrant. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tears abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright. Yeah. A beacon to light the heavens. On fire. And it will be Gortash who ignites the final spark. No. This isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a brief moment, uncertainty. Oh, he's still there! Hand, he's still there! Then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend to Rill's first and only grand city. He's still in there. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't usually do the Illithid powers, but I am definitely going to call on that right now. Difficulty class two. Unless I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First comes a vision of terror, the city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The true raven guard mm -hmm. lurks somewhere in this infected mind. 
seeking freedom, seeking victory. Okay. Have we finished then? I, I want to see what he says. I'm here to help you, Florek sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Florek chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Florek's location a secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little does he know that you've already found and freed <gasps> Look her. at my smile. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. But if there's a part of him in there that recognizes what's going on, I hope... I don't know, maybe it's bad to, like, sort of drop the deets, but, like, it's like, hey... Hey, you know. Also, if we're like, he doesn't know you've rescued her and he's trying to keep her location a secret, but it's like, I just said that Florek sent us. Like, obviously I know. I guess it could have been a no or it could be lying. But, yeah, Will, this is rough. This is rough. But we can still... I think we can potentially rescue him. Florek was being a bit melodramatic, which was understandable. That he's just a husk now. He is not. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here before I get too crazy um but yeah <laughs> let's see oh okay so he gave us the hint to his destruction which is to undo the steel watch i'm sure he's powerful in and of his own right but he kept saying as long as i have the steel watch it would be interesting to kill orin first and see what gortash said i thought we'd have to kill gortash first but he did also say that we got it. There's, there's no quest for this, but it's like, yeah, at your camp, there's an insidious. Although, to be fair, I have checked everybody periodically, especially the cat and the, uh, the girl. And I don't know if being if I would know if they were a doppelganger right out the gate or not. You know, like if the game would let me examine if, if I did pick on a doppelganger and like examine if it would be like doppelganger, if it's like, you know, human level one, and then only when they turn does the game go haha -ha, just kidding you know so i don't i have to look it up maybe if doppelgangers are fiends i don't think they are because i don't think any of my sense my sensory abilities would help with that um but interesting interesting okay so we still have free reign of the city because I don't, there's no way we were going to fight all these people. You know what I mean? Like, they would have all fought us. It would be, it would be interesting to see how, like, you'd, if you'd have to, like, kill everybody in here. I don't even think that's possible. But, like, what would happen? Yeah, we have to take out the Steel Watch first. We got to be smart about it. You got to be smart about it, even if you don't want to, right? Like, even if it, even if it feels like eating dirt for a bit. But, anyway. This is exciting, so thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.